You are welcome to Cup of Faith of Yaba Baptist Church, Lagos, with the church pastor, Reverend Dr. Bayo Shola Aremu. God bless you as you listen. Thanks be to God for a new day and another weekend. May the favor of God locate you as the week closes in Jesus' name. The topic for today's edition of Cup of Faith Devotional is an encouragement to approach the throne of God with boldness. And the text is Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, saying, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hallelujah. In today's text, Apostle Paul, by way of encouragement, reveals to us what our disposition should be when we approach God. He emphasizes the fact that communicating with God in prayer is good, but the way or the how of it is equally important. To receive mercy and find grace in times of need, we may need to present ourselves before God with boldness. We need to see God as a loving Father who is ready to give us what we ask. When you approach God in prayer, how do you show up? Are you confident or timid, expecting to receive or just wishing and hoping, asking or begging? Do you know you belong or do you feel unworthy? The difference in how you come to the throne of God will determine whether you take possession of what you need or walk away empty-handed. The implication of this is that boldness is a prerequisite to receiving because the fuel for boldness is faith. Your source of boldness is knowing who you are in Christ and what rights you have in your covenant relationship with Him. One of the rights Jesus secured for you at the cross is the right to come freely into the presence of God without condemnation without insecurity, and without the fear of not being heard. This is supported by Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 12, saying, Because of Christ and our faith in Him, we can now come boldly and confidently into God's presence. This means that Jesus has paved the way between us and the throne room of God. He has broken the wall, the fence, and the partition serving as barriers between us and God. This means we have freedom in Christ to approach God without any fear of intimidation. Fellowship with Him is part of our covenant right. To act otherwise is disrespecting the price Jesus paid to get us connected to the throne. Most of the time, probably because of our sins, the devil intimidates us and walks over time to convince us that we are not worthy to approach God. The simple reason is because He doesn't want us to access the throne of God so that we may not obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Boldness before God is not begging, pleading, wishing, or hoping. It is knowing. It is having the confidence and the assurance that when you pray according to the Word of God, in accordance to his will, and as you live in obedience to God's word, you will receive what you ask, according to 1 John chapter 3, verses 21 and 22. Beloved of God, you have a standing invitation from your heavenly Father to come boldly and take possession of what you need. Let nothing hinder you from doing so. I pray for you today. May the Lord give you the spirit of boldness to always approach his throne in Jesus' name. He will deal with every intimidating force in your life. Every power creating fear in you shall be destroyed. Receive grace for spiritual boldness. Receive grace for answered prayers. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Enjoy your weekend. Christ is the answer. 
We believe you've been blessed by the message from the throne of grace. For further inquiries, prayer, and counseling, kindly contact 0907-799-6648. That's 0907-799-6648. The church is located at 19 Stroke 23 Commercial Avenue, Raymond Street, Sabo Yaba, Lagos. We meet on Sundays by 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and on Wednesdays by 6 p.m. Join us same time right here on Every Other Day. Christ is the answer to all human needs. Thanks for listening.